तो और 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 इंट्रोड्यूसिंग कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड आल्सो मी सो एज दिगन तो मेंशन वी आर इन द सिक्स्थ एडिशन ऑफ दिस ओके समथिंग yeah we are in the sixth edition of this um, stat queen uh, and this is my second time i am attending uh, i think i attended the very first one if i remember correctly in in cmi chennai so let me extend my uh, i am i am also putting up slides because all of us are doing this online and um, and uh, so that both audio if audio fails then video would be there so kind of uh, mix um so let me extend a personal uh, welcome to all of you personal warm welcome in delhi of course it's very very hot at this time uh, but all of you are from different parts of the world and uh, i hope the weather is much better there um i also thank all the organizers uh, for asking me to chair this first session this as digant mentioned this is a session in honor of professor rajiv lakshmi randikar and um, as also he mentioned he was my thesis advisor so it's a personal honor for me to be saying uh, or introducing uh, hello okay uh, am i audible i think there is some disturbance in the middle uh, i request all of yes yes you are okay uh, i would just request all the attendees to mute themselves because otherwise there might be some auditory disturbance thank you okay thanks yeah so i uh, the organizers also asked me to introduce quote unquote introduce uh, rajiv da uh, yeah as diganto mentioned all of us call him rajiv da um now i have seen i have i've seen rajiv da over now 30 years uh and um, introducing him i mean he has several facets and i would like to touch upon a few of those of course i know him as an academician as a probabilist and a statistician uh but my first interaction with him was as a teacher and he in my opinion and in many others opinions he has been a excellent administrator for academic places um he okay and of course at a personal level um he has been an advisor and a friend i i contact him whenever i uh, i mean he always is um free and open to discuss various different things with me um right so let me start at the beginning um he of course uh, grew up in indore madhya pradesh and he grew up in a academic family both his parents had doctorates um in fact his father uh, was a phd in statistics and a teacher in statistics he also eventually was the professor and head of the department of mathematics and statistics in indore and his mother was a had a phd in chemistry so he grew up in a house i guess with a very academic kind of at atmosphere um he did his early schooling there and of course his bsc was in statistics from the university of indore in 1976 towards the end of this period uh, i believe a uh, he attended this uh, this mtts program this mtts program has been running for over 50 years in india and i have heard several stories about that particular mtts program from rajiv da himself uh, uh, two i mean briefly i am going to touch on two of them uh, one is that many of his co attendees of that year when i mean they all remain friends to this day first of all and many of them went on to continue to work in mathematics and are leading um, mathematicians uh, today uh, also his friends there was in, were in a way instrumental that he 
wrote the ISI entrance exam. I have heard this, this story from him and I'm sure many of others in the audience may have. Uh, so he actually came to Indian Statistical Institute in uh, after his BSc, after the MTTS and um, got his uh, Master of Statistics in 1978 from, from ISI. Uh, he has always, I mean, I have had several conversations with him on various different subjects and he has always been reverential to all his teachers. But I have mentioned three particular names here uh, who ha I believe had uh, quite an influence on him, uh, not just on his research in terms of his topics, but has a, have had an influence on him as a researcher, as a teacher, as how, how, the, how he, he interacts with students. Um, Professor Nadkarni also, I think there is a connection, if I remember correctly, connection from Indore, and he was also instrumental in convincing him or maybe convincing is not the correct word, but in his coming to ISI. Uh, he had a very soft spot for Professor Somesh Bakchi. And of course, Professor B.V. Rao had a very, very important role uh, in his in his research, in his way of thinking in mathematics. Um, so I think most of us would know here that he, uh, after his M study, continued as a PhD student in ISI and worked with Professor B.V. Rao, who uh, advised, who was the thesis advisor for him. He got his PhD degree in 1981, and that was, uh, to do with stochastic differential equations. Um, in fact, throughout his now what four decades or more of his academic career, he uh, there is an underlying thing of stochastic calculus uh, in all of his in most of his work. I should say stochastic calculus. Uh, he continues to be interested in various aspects of that. He has had several co-authors on the subject. He has had several publications on that. Uh, related to stochastic calculus. Uh, and very recently, um, Professor Karandikar and Professor B.V. Rao um, wrote this book, uh, which sort of um, attempts to or, or does um, come up uh, at, this, uh, at this topic of stochastic calculus in a very fresh and very different uh, direction than, than what has been in, in literature for over three, four decades now. After his PhD, he went to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And Professor Kalyan Put there uh, was another person who has had an extremely major in influence on his work on him. Uh, he, 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 he visited uh, Chapel Hill several times during that decade and there Collaborative efforts resulted in many, many uh, publications. Um, they embarked on a systematic study of finitely added probability, and they were interested in, um, in problems of filtering theory, but they came up with this, um, uh, this fresh approach. Uh, it was not an entirely new approach, but they did a very, very systematic study of this finitely additive probability and applied it. And uh, apart from all the publications I mentioned in top journals uh, in the area, uh, this book uh, is a complete, uh, well, uh, a complete um, record of all their work at that time, 1988. This was published. Uh, this, was, this was his first book uh, with Professor Kalyan. Uh, he actually, uh, apart from stochastic calculus and the finitely additive probability, he has very varied research interests and many, uh, he has worked with several different people. Uh, so I have, I have um, just in, listed a few of the topics, not all of them, I've just listed uh, those uh, so as to fit on one slide. Um, 
So apart from the stochastic calculus, as I mentioned, he continues to work in that. Uh, semi martingales pathwise approximations uh, etc and finally additive theory he also um, it, uh, has done a lot of work in markov processes martingale problems uh, and in relation to again filtering theory classical filtering theory um, he has worked in limit theorems he is interested in uh, financial applications of stochastic processes, which is the theme of this conference also. Uh, he, he has played a major role, I would say he developed, uh, well, from my point of view, uh, a very systematic way of, um, of predicting outcomes in elections, and he has been a very um, a familiar face on television during elections in India for over two decades now. He has worked in crypto cryptography, um, bioinformatics, and as I said, this is just a, uh, just a snapshot of, of his varied interests. Um, he received the Young INSA, Indian National Science Academy Young Scientist Medal in 85, uh, the Shanti Sarvaru Bhatnagar Prize uh, awarded by the Council CSIR, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, the most prestigious award for a scientist in India. Um, later, he was awarded, he was the first recipient uh, of the okay. National Award in Statistics okay. in honor of C.R. Rao. Um, which is, which is given by the government of India through its Ministry of Statistics. He has been elected fellow of the two science academies in India, Indian Academy of Science and the Indian National Science Academy. He won the PCM gold medal um, uh, by, uh, given by the Indian Science Congress Association. Um, he started, of course, his academic career in ISI and he was here for 22 years. Uh, and of course, all of us in ISI fondly remember him uh, for, I mean, for everything that he did here. And of course, I uh, personally benefited. Um, he was my thesis advisor, as I said. But he briefly left academics in 2006 and joined uh, a software company, Crane Software International Limited, which is, I think, a US-based company. He was executive vice president for four years and he was based in Bangalore. But he came back to academics in 2010 and he joined the Chennai Mathematical Institute. Uh, and, he, and he became director and he was director of CMI for 10 years. He continues to be at CMI uh, as of now. Uh, in, in the middle of all this, he he made several uh, visits to different universities in around the world and at each place um, interacted with different academicians and and um, uh, and collaborators uh, and many of them became his collaborators uh, academic collaborators so unc chapalil i mentioned he made several trips there uh, University of California at Santa Barbara, Erasmus University, um, Penn, University of Twente in, in both of these in Netherlands, and, and I'm sure there are a few others. Uh, apart from that, his expertise has been, um, has been recognized by uh, several institutions outside of academics. Um, recently, just a few years ago, the Supreme Court of India uh, appointed him in a committee um, to look at frauds in online examinations. Uh, he was also part of a committee uh, formed by the Election Commission of India to, to look at the um, EVM, VVPAT uh, verification uh, issue. He has consulted with the Indian Navy and provided a uh, a block cipher to the defense. Uh, he has been consulted by CBI, the Cent Central Bureau of in Investigation, in in as a statistical expert in in um, in criminal cases. Um, Food Corporation of India. I mean, some of the top top institutions in India. 
Central Board of Secondary Education for Normalization, um, Gujarat State Power Board. Again, this is a snapshot. I have not listed all the things. And as I said earlier, he had um, he was a he's from 1998, I think. Uh, he was uh, a regular part of television. Uh, starting at a time when Doordarshan was only the only well, not the only channel, but Doordarshan was the main channel. Um, then India Today, NDTV, and and several others. <coughs> so, what's his connection with math finance? Uh, as I said, he, he, uh, he had visited the University of California at Santa Barbara um, during 91-92 and there he met with Professor Achev, who is our plenary speaker today. And uh, that uh, during that visit, they started talking and they had this joint work, a generalized binomial model and option pricing formula, where I think they worked with um, stable processes. Uh, so he, he 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 had already he was always interested in math finance because of its connection with stochastic calculus. But after this, I think his his interest kept uh, so remained, I should say. And um, in two thousand, uh, he wrote uh, his second book uh, that should have been R L Karandikar and Jikal Nandpur. It's a jointly authored book, Introduction to Option Pricing Theory. And recently, he had a couple of papers on fundamental theorems of asset pricing on the first and second fundamental theorems of asset pricing. Uh, so he continues to be interested in questions related to math finance. And apart from all that, as Diganta said, he was instrument, well, he was a sort of a, a definite helping hand. Uh, I, I, I don't know because I, I was not in CMI, but I'm sure knowing him and knowing CMI that he was uh, he was a he was a definitely a helping hand, if not the driving force, along with the uh, other members of the organizing committee in starting this stat, stat pin, uh, which has now become an annual uh, issue. So I think this is my last slide. Uh, I already indicated. Um, uh, Rajiv Das uh, connection with Rachev. In fact, uh, he started um, his collaboration with Rachev and, and, and his uh, growth into math finance uh, thereby. Uh, Vidyadhar Kulkarni, um, Professor Vidyadhar Kulkarni was, is uh, even now in University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And of course, during his many visits to Chapel Hill, they became, both of them became friends. The friendship continues today, and uh, later on, that friendship also um, uh, developed into a collaborative work. And I think they have three uh, joint articles which have been published. Um, Professor Yu Cheng Lu, um, his RLK distance is two, I believe. So he has not had direct communication or contact with uh, Professor Rajiv Da, but they have um, a, a, a common co-author, uh, Professor Debraj Ring. So Debraj uh, was in ISI when Rajiv Da was here, and they had uh, worked um, on some um, some things about um, uh, economics, uh, Markov, the uh, limiting distributions, perturbed Markov chains, Right, so, so the three speakers today, um, apart from the theme of the conference, also are connected to the, uh, the special person, Professor Karandikar, who is uh, in whose honor this session is being held. Yeah, so once again, I ask, so it, uh, well, it goes without saying that it has been an um, uh, honor to, to know Rajivda. Um, I have uh, it's a it's an understatement to say that I have benefited a lot from him, and I continue to um, I continue to get um, or trouble him from time to time with with issues or help, and um, I I believe I can I will continue to do so. So uh, thank you all. We uh, so I will stop my small um, well my introduction to Professor Karandikar. 
Karanika's academics and the way I see him. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Diganto? Yes, uh, thank you, Abhayda. Uh, very, very <coughs> nice presentation to Rajivda. We, even I have heard something which I didn't hear before. I didn't know before. Thank you again. So now I need to ha hand the session back to Abhayda again to chair the uh, technical talk part of it. Introduce the first speaker. I think uh, Professor Kulkarni will be starting the session. <coughs> 